In this video, I'm going to talk about other ways to cite with Zotero other than the cite as you write function showed in previous video. You can just simply select articles and drag and drop them into any writing platform. By any writing platform, I mean an email, Blackboard discussion reply, notepad, PowerPoint, truly anywhere you can type. You'll want to make sure that in your Zotero preferences, your export option is selected to the citation style you want to use. And then you select multiple records to drag and drop. For both Windows and Mac device, to select a whole row of records, you will select your first option, your first record, hold down the shift key, and select your last record in the list. You then can just drag and drop it over into your writing platform. The other option, if you don't want to use all of these in a row, is you select which ones you want. So I'm going to select uh, this article here, and I'm going to hit hold down the control key so I can select other records that aren't necessarily in a row, and then I can drag and drop them into my writing document. If you want to do that same functionality where you're not selecting in a row on a Mac unit you will use the command key instead of the control key. The other option I'm going to talk about in this video is exporting an entire folder collection in your Zotero library. So if I click on a folder that I want to export all I can do is right click and create bibliography from collection is what I'm going to select. Then it'll give me the option of my citation style so and your output method. So if you want the citations or bibliography style, um, if you save as an RTF that will allow you to save the bibliography as a rich text file. Save as HTML will allow you to save the bibliography as an HTML file for viewing in a web browser. This format will also embed metadata allowing other Zotero viewers to look at the document to capture bibliographic information. So if you're putting this on a website that might be a good option. Uh, you can copy to clipboard and that will allow you to save the bibliography to your clipboard temporarily so then you can just directly paste it into any text field so again notepad powerpoint etc it's basically like a copy and paste and then the last one is print so that will directly send your bibliography to the printer uh, if you want to export your folder as well as notes so i can choose export collection you might choose to export your collection for a variety of reasons for example you may want to export your collection into an excel folder or a different citation manager so i'm going to click on export collection now and then you can choose if you want to export your files which would include your pdfs if you have them as well as your notes so in a previous video we talked about adding notes to your records in zotero and then you have a lot of other options by file type depending upon where you're wanting to put this folder. I'm not going to go into detail about all of these options, I just wanted to bring these to your attention so you know that you have options.